So hi everybody, um, today I'm doing a little video where I talk about Disney princesses. Any excuse to talk about princesses. I'm going to do my worst to best Disney princesses and uh, I've seen a couple of people do this and I thought it was a really cool idea and um, I'm going on the official 11 princesses yeah um I thought it'd be a good idea to do this video however it's probably the hardest list I've ever had to make because I'm a typical girl when it comes to Disney and I do love the princesses and I love all of them um and I want all of them to be in like the top five but that can't happen because it wouldn't be a list. Um, so I'm going to go with it. Um, some people are not going to agree with some of my choices. Um, but yeah, this is my, at the moment, my top 11 worst to best Disney princesses. So coming in at number 11 is going to be Merida. And I'm sorry, Kirsty, if you're watching, you're going to totally disagree with me. And I'm sorry. Um, I love Merida. I do. I love her. She's very sassy and she's cool. But I just love some of the other Disney princesses more <laughs> and that's the only reason she's at my like my bottom princess um I like her story she's like I say she's very sassy she's very cool and uh, she's got her own mind and I like that but then I get a bit I don't know I like the first half of the film more than the second half of the film when she turns her mum into a bear and stuff and it gets a bit I don't know I don't know if I like that bit as much so that's yeah that's probably why she's going to be at my number 11 so I'm sorry Merida, I'm sorry Kirsty. Um, so number 10 um, is going to be Cinderella. Um, I used to love Cinderella when I was younger, I grew up watching her her, her story, her film a lot but um, lately I've just not loved Cinderella as much and I don't know why, I don't know why, she's just not one of my favourite princesses anymore which is weird because she did used to be probably my favourite, one of my favourites but um, at the moment she's down at number 10 I'm afraid. Um, I mean I love her story and she has one of the most amazing dresses of all the Disney princesses. Come on, her dress is amazing, but I don't know why. I just I've just fallen out of love with her a little bit, and so yeah, she's going to be at my number ten. So number nine is going to be Tiana. And uh, again, I love Tiana because she is sassy and she's cool and she knows what she wants in life, um, and she's got some really good qualities for a princess, you know. Um, Again, with this film, I found that I preferred the first half of it to the second half. I, I kind of lose interest when she gets turned into a frog, and I don't know why. It just gets a bit boring for me, and I don't know. It's just not one of my favourite films, but again, Tiana is an amazing princess. I'm, I feel a bit sad putting her this low, but then, like I say, I, there's more princesses that I just like a bit more than her. So Tiana's going to be number nine. At number eight, I have Mulan. Now Mulan is an amazing film, I really really like um, the movie and again she's amazing, she, the, what she does for her dad is really touching, it's really sweet and she's so brave and courageous, brilliant person and I do love her um, and I feel like ugh, putting her this low but I feel like she should be higher because I, I love the story of Mulan. I've been to China and I watched the film around the time that it went as well and it's just it's an amazing film isn't it and the songs are really pretty and mm, I love Mushu as well he's so cool <laughs> I love the sidekicks so yeah sorry sorry Mulan number seven is going to be Snow White again um, she's one of the original princesses and I love Snow White she's beautiful she's the original Disney princess isn't she I love the story and I love her and I do collect a lot of Snow White things but Again, she's just not quite not top five material for me. Um, people, you know, a lot of people would like either love or hate Snow, not hate Snow, but you know, you either love or you don't, but I, I don't fall into that category. I really do like her, but there is other princesses that I love more. But she's beautiful. She, to me, is like the alternative princess. I think a lot of alternative people kind of like her because she's different. She's got the short dark hair and her dress is, is a bit out there. The colors are a bit out there. But again, she's such a sweet, sweet person. The way she looks after the little dwarves and... Oh, I do love Snow White. I'm sorry for putting you at number seven. Okay, I'm going to go on to number six. Uh, for me, number six is going to be Princess Jasmine. I love Aladdin. Aladdin is one of my favourite films. Um, I love the whole Arabian thing and the music. The soundtrack is amazing. And Jasmine's pretty cool. I mean, she has a pet tiger and that's amazing. <laughs> And yeah, she's she's got her own mind as well. She doesn't want to set off any prince, and her dad's trying to make her marry princes that she doesn't want to. Um, 
and she falls in love with Aladdin. It's a really, really sweet story. And they go on the magic carpet and it's great. And I love, I love Jasmine. She's just an amazing princess. She's so beautiful as well. And I like that she doesn't wear a dress. It's a bit different. She's a bit different. She wears a sort of Arabian outfit and she looks amazing. So yeah, Jasmine. Coming in at number five. We're in the top five now, guys. Um, number five for me is going to be Belle. Um, again, Beauty and the Beast, one of my favourite movies. Um, Belle's amazing, her dress is amazing. Although yellow is a bit of a funny colour for a, a ball dress, I feel. But yeah, Belle's great. I mean, I love the story and she reads and she's an intelligent person. And Gaston is my favourite villain. So I love watching the movie and I love Gaston as well. I mean, a little, there's a little bit of me that just thinks, I wish that Belle and Gaston got together. That would be such a different story. <laughs> But yeah, Belle, she's beautiful and I love her. Um, number four for me is going to be Princess Aurora. Now, um, one of the original princesses, I love her. Um, I grew up watching Sleeping Beauty and I still love it to this day. Um, I prefer, I always think like Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella are very kind of similar in stories and like the time that they were made and stuff like that. But I've always preferred Sleeping Beauty and Princess Aurora. She's beautiful and... I mean, it, it, I feel a bit like, oh, she fell in love with the prince so quick. You don't fall in love with someone that quickly. But it's, to me, it's the epitome of Disney. The classic Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, kind of like pretty little story. And like I said, I do prefer Sleeping Beauty to Cinderella. And it's such a lovely story. It's very fairy tale, very cliche in a way. But I kind of love it. Like I said, I grew up with her. And she's just an amazing princess for me. And uh, top three now. So coming at number three for me is going to be Pocahontas. Um, my top three, I change them all the time. These three princesses are my three favourites. And Pocahontas is one of them. She's amazing. I love the story of Pocahontas. One of my all-time favourite Disney movies. And I just love her and I love the story. Again, she's not one of the ones that wears the big dresses. She's got her little Indian kind of outfit on and she's just beautiful. And I love the fact that she's all about nature and the animals and everything like that. And for me, that's a big thing because I love animals and nature and... She's just an amazing, amazing princess. And I love that she, again, is very sassy. She's very passionate about things. And I like everything that she stands for. She's a really, really good princess. So, yes, Pocahontas. So, I've, on my list, I've got number one and two, and I've left them blank because I can never decide between these two princesses, which is number one and which is number two. I can't really pick now. I'm going to just go with it and say for number two, it's going to be Rapunzel. Um, I love Tangled, again one of my favourite movies, um, and she has the best sidekick ever in Pascal. Pascal is one of my favourite Disney characters ever, he's just so funny. And also with Rapunzel, Flynn White is probably one of the best looking guys in a movie, cartoon guys. And she's just lovely, and I think about Rapunzel, I relate to her as a princess. We've both got blonde hair and green eyes, and we're both a bit, you know, a bit naive, a bit ditzy at times, but... She's a good person and she's just, I love her story and her mum's so evil, Mother Gothel, oh, evil woman. But I love Rapunzel, again I can watch it every, I'd watch that movie every day and not get bored. So that's why she's going to be number two. So obviously number one, my number one princess is going to be Ariel, um, the little mermaid. And I think with Ariel, again, she's one of these princesses that you either love or hate. I, you know, some people really, really like Ariel, some people really don't like Ariel. For me, I, again, like, watched her, her story a lot growing up, and she's just, she's beautiful. I love her red hair. Again, she, I think she's a bit of an alternative princess. A lot of alternative people kind of like Ariel. Um, and for the fact that she's a mermaid, I've, I've always been really fascinated with mermaids and stuff like that, and I think that's probably why she's really high up, well, my number one princess, along with Rapunzel and Pocahontas. Um, but I love her story and some people say that she, you know, she's a bit selfish, she's got everything and she still wants more. But then if you're not happy in life, you should always strive to make yourself happy and do things to make yourself happy and she does that. She's not happy the way she is and she just wants to be someone else and she, she gets there in the end. And I love Ariel, I love the story. I, again, I can watch that every day and not be bored. <laughs> I have a lot of uh, Ariel, Little Mermaid, sort of collectible stuff and merchandise because I just love her. And I love. I, I think it's the fact that she's a mermaid. I prefer her as a mermaid. I'm just putting that out there. She needs to be a mermaid forever. So yeah, my number one is going to be Ariel. Anyway, guys, I hope that you liked this video. If you guys want to like do the same, please let me know and put a link in the comments box for you doing the video because I'd love to see it. I love hearing what you think about the princesses and stuff like that. It's always interesting. Um, obviously, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you're all well and I'll speak to you soon. Bye, guys.
Thank you.